Before this video gets started, I just wanted to say don't forget to check out my new merch on Teespring. It's all original art drawn by me, and there's constantly new designs being put into the shop. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm working on Nebula's cage, and I've been wanting to change it for a while, but I just haven't gotten to it. I started by making the background, and I used foam insulator board, and I just carved it using a spoon, a fork, and a knife. And this was to add texture, make it look like rock, or just something natural. This was my first time using foam insulation board for the background. Usually I used spray foam. So I felt like this came out pretty good for my first time. It had the look I was going for. After I carved it, I used non-toxic acrylic paint for the background. I had to get it in all the gaps and cracks of the whole thing because I didn't want any pink showing. This took a while. After that first layer dried, I tried using a paint roller but it didn't work as I thought it would. So I just used a paintbrush to put in the second layer, which is gray. Then I did the third layer, which was a light gray. I did this to make depth. It turned out pretty good, so I was ready to set up the aquarium. Before I put it in the aquarium, I put a waterproof finish on it. I didn't want to take everything out, so I just worked with what I had inside the aquarium already. I added in this waterfall that I built. You can watch it in a, a previous video I did. It's always difficult setting up water features, especially in a cage like this where I have a very small gap to fit my arm between. So I did what I could. I'm using a shower curtain to try to make kind of a water dish. I was gonna use spray foam, but I had none left and I had to use what I had. After adding the moss, it was finally starting to come together. And there it is. I was pretty happy with it. I feel like there could be more in it, possibly some grapevine wood, but it's what I have. And I don't like the pink tulip in the back, but that is Nebula's absolute favorite thing. So I couldn't take it out for the sake of how it looked because I want this to be more enjoyable for Nebula. When I put Nebula in, the first thing he did was he ran over to the waterfall. And you can probably guess what he did next. Since this little guy tries to eat anything that moves, and I mean anything, of course he would try to eat flowing water. I'm glad Nebula likes the waterfall so much because that can be something fun for him to do. Something that's kind of enriching for him. I realized that I needed something connecting the waterfall to the lake, so I added some pebbles. I liked it a lot more than just having moss around the waterfall. It didn't really make sense looking like that. A few days later, I decided I needed to change the cage a little bit. I moved the rock over and added an inch plant in the center, and I liked it a lot more than what it was before. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And subscribe for more videos like this.